you've probably heard it before, but there's like this saying that the uh, guy who loves to run will go farther than the guy who loves the destination he's running towards. And doesn't that, that just make a lot of sense? Today I am going to try to live a good day and push myself, but yet be detached from the outcome, if that makes sense. I will do my duties and my efforts with all of my current energy and all of my focus and do it as best as I can, but also enjoy it and not be lazy either. seriously sore and I am not sure why because I haven't worked out much of my upper body lately because I've had an, an elbow injury so maybe that's why I get sore faster this thing this is brutal the matter is about excellence about being completely into what you are doing at a given time so that you don't focus so much on the next thing and the next thing and the results but rather just doing your best and actually enjoying what you're doing. Just getting lost in the process. I guess with excellence, doing everything with excellence. Excellence. Be working out like I'm doing now. I don't, honestly don't feel like working out right now, but you know, before riding, it's essential to get in a good session of mobility and foam rolling and some kettlebells to get warm. At least in my opinion, that helps a lot. You don't want to go stiff to the skate park. That's the worst feeling. Don't you agree? <laughs> Two sets of around 20 each on that last little core circuit is a serious burner, especially for the lower lower abs. Woo. I would highly advise that one. You don't need weights even. I just like to do them with kettlebells to get a little extra resistance, especially on the contralateral raise thingy where I kind of touch my right arm and my left leg and the opposite. Nice to sort of get some power with some light weight. 
I'm using an 8 kilogram that I have at home. You could also go with like a dumbbell. Sometimes I go with dumbbell, dumbbells and I alternate so that I have one in each hand. But it's it's kind of easy to just get a little burning in the morning at home if you if you're just a little bit creative. And of course, as I said, I'm trying to do today to be as in the thing I'm doing as I can, not focusing on having to go to the car soon and go drive somewhere, but like just being completely present so that you can do whatever you do better. You might as well give your all and be completely present and forget about everything else you're gonna do that day. I feel like that's, that's a good way to do something properly. Just forget about everything else, but what you're doing exactly right now. For me, not even focusing on the next rep, I'm no, sorry, the next set, but focusing solely on the exercise I'm doing in the moment. Now, there's just this one thing I have got to do before I go to practice to finish off my workout. Oh, that was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. The snow is like sandpaper to be honest, but I just want to ice my legs a bit. It's like having a bunch of cold gravel on your skin. <laughs> Not exactly what I was expecting, but uh, you know, it's nice. Just to ice down my knee a bit before warming it up in the sauna. It helps for a lot of stuff, recovery and sleep and whatnot. Sauna done. Feeds and then riding. That's kind of the, the routine. I've had that one on my mind for a while now. Feels good to finally get it. Started out on the ledge and uh, you probably saw that in some video that I like failed really bad on the flat ledge. That was that trick. Feels nice, nice, nice to get it. It was a bit sketch because I almost uh, went straight on my toe and toe smashed. Or it happened actually. Filmer, backflip guy. <laughs> backflip guy. I kind of have to be really meticulous with how I plan stuff because I have no accountability and no people telling me to do stuff. So I have to be really disciplined with when I do stuff and kind of figure out when each thing is best done. But to sort of conclude today's topic of can you both be goal oriented and at the same time be extremely focused in the process. I think yes, you can. You just have to be more on point and not think so much and just do what you have planned. Just set your goal for the day, the plan for the day, and then don't think, just act. Because sometimes for me, I start thinking like, oh, maybe I should do this first and then that, and like stuff just gets chaotic real fast. And so today, as you saw, I did the training, then I went to ride and the riding was real well. I didn't really have any other expectations than just practicing some rail basics. And then one thing led to another and I learned the frontside feeble 360 bride flip without really even forcing it. And, and that's kind of a testament to my initial statement this morning because I wanted to see if I can be more in the moment and more flowing and more held back yet still focused and still get stuff done without really, really, really getting caught up in having expectations about doing a certain trick and learning something. And I just did the trick and I wasn't really that stressed about the outcome. I just focused on each attempt and had fun, took my time and I got it within some tries but not too many tries because sometimes it takes a lot of time to do stuff like that especially when you're first trying it so i'm i'm comfortable with saying that that process works 
for me sometimes depends on what type of practice it is because today i wanted to hold back as i have some minor injuries but it worked out real well it's hard but it is possible to combine those two the focus and the sort of chill calmness if that makes sense